Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 4 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the distance formula and example 1 to 3 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. Before we start with the video, guys, you have to listen to this. An Academy has started a Kannada batch for KCT 2021 where the courses will be covered in Kannada and the notes will be provided in the English. So for the students who understand their topics in Kannada language better, then this batch will be apt for you. Link is provided in the description box below. So when you click on the link, this page opens. So this batch is going to start from Jan 11th where top educators will help learners prepare and revise the syllabus for physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. Complete schedule of the topics with time and date is provided here. So guys, click on the get subscription option to subscribe to an academy. There is a one month, three month, six month and a 12 month plan. When you apply my code math school here, you can avail a 10% discount on the amount provided and then you can proceed to pay. Benefits of an academy plus are premium content at affordable prices, structured life courses with dedicated live doubt clearing sessions, quizzes at regular intervals for self-analysis, batches for complete preparation, test series are conducted with analysis, single subscription for unlimited access and many more are added every day. My code math school will also be applicable to the new learners of an academy. You can also access the free special classes where the complete details of free classes is provided with timings and date. Take a peek into plus courses planned by an academy on their platform. To get the more details of an academy, you can also join their telegram. And also do check out the an academy KCT channel on YouTube for more free class. Again, the link for all these is provided in the description box below. So guys, do subscribe subscribe to an academy plus by the link and code provided in the description box below with your friends relatives and siblings to crack karnataka ct 2021 so now quickly let us begin with the video example number four from chapter seven coordinate geometry says find a relation between x and y such that point x comma y is equidistant from the point seven comma one and three comma five so according to the question, we have to find out a relationship between the variable x and y such that, for example, if you consider we have a point A with coordinates x, y, this point is equidistant from the points 7, 1 and 3, 5. So the point x, y is equidistant from the point 7, 1 and 3, 5. Right, so let us name this as point B and point C, which is equal distance from point A. Right, so let us write down first, let the points B, the A point be x comma y, B point B 7 comma 1 and point C B 3 comma 5. Right, so according to the question, what is given, they have given us that the point x comma y is equidistant from point 7 comma 1 and 3 comma 5 so this point is equidistant from point b and point c therefore we can say that the distance a b will be equal to a c as this point is equidistant from both point b and c so according to the question we can say that a b is equal to AC. Now let us apply the distance formula here and find out the distance of AB and AC. So basically distance formula is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Right. So this is the distance formula. Now let us apply this formula to point A and B and find out the distance AB. Let this point A be x1 y1 and point BB x2 y2. We can take any of the points to be x1 y1 or x2 y2. The answer will not change. So applying the distance formula and finding AB. So square root of x2 minus x1. Here x2 is 7 and x1 is x. So that will be 7 minus x the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. 
here y2 is 1 and y1 is y. So 1 minus y the whole square. Similarly, let us apply the distance formula and find out the distance of AC. Again, assume here the point A to be x1, y1 and point 2 to be x2, y2. So applying the distance formula to AC, so we get square root of again x2 minus x1. Here x2 is 3 and x1 is x. So we get 3 minus x the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 5 minus y. So it is 5 minus y the whole square. So according to the question what we had written AB is equal to AC. So let us equate AB and AC here and then we will form an equation and then we can find out the relation between x and y. So with the equation formed we can find out the relation between x and y. Since AB is equal to AC according to the question, now we can write value of AB is square root of 7 minus x the whole square plus 1 minus y the whole square is equal to square root of 3 minus x the whole square plus 5 minus y the whole square. Now let us square on both the sides so that we can remove the square root term. So squaring on both the sides. So square root of 7 minus x the whole square plus 1 minus y the whole square is equal to square root of 3 minus x the whole square plus 5 minus y the whole square. So let us square on both the sides. So this square root and square term will get cancelled and we will be left with 7 minus x the whole square plus 1 minus y the whole square is equal to again here square and square root term will be cancelled and we will be left with 3 minus x 3 minus x the whole square plus 5 minus y the whole square so here you can observe all the four brackets are in the form a minus b the whole square formula which is given by a square minus 2ab plus b square so let us apply this formula here and open the brackets applying a minus b the whole square formula to 7 minus x the whole square a value is 7 and b value is x a square is 7 square that is 49 minus 2 into a value is 7 and b is x plus b square that is x square plus again applying the formula to 1 minus y the whole square a value is 1 so 1 square is 1 minus 2 into a value is 1 and b value is y plus b square so b value is y here so it will be y square is equal to again apply a minus b the whole square formula here a value is 3 so 3 square is 9 minus 2 into a is 3 into b is x plus b square which will be x square plus again applying the formula so phi square will be 25 minus 2 into a value is 5 into b value is y plus b square b square will be here y square right so again let us simplify this equation so this will be 49 minus 7 into 2 is 14 14 into x is minus 14x plus x square plus 1 minus 2 into 1 into y is minus 2y plus y square is equal to again we have 9 here 9 minus 3 into 2 into x is 6x plus x square plus 25 minus 5 into 2 is 10 into y is minus 10y plus y square right here you can observe we have a plus x square and plus x square on the right hand side so when we send this plus x square to the right hand side it will become minus x square plus x square and minus x square will get cancelled likewise we can cancel this plus x square and minus x square on the left hand side and right hand side similarly we can cancel plus y square and plus y square on both the sides of equal to sign now what is left we have 49 minus 14 x plus 1 minus 2y is equal to 9 minus 6x plus 25 minus 10y. So this 49 plus 49 and plus 1 will add up to become plus 50 minus 14x minus 2y is equal to plus 9 and plus 25 will add up and it will become plus 34 minus 6x and minus 10y. Now let us send all these three terms to left hand side. So we get 50 
माइनस फोर्टीन एक्स माइनस टू आई माइनस थर्टी फोर दिस माइनस सिक्स एक्स विल बिकम प्लस सिक्स एक्स एंड माइनस टेन वाई विल बिकम प्लस टेन वाई इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ लेट एस सी एक्स टर्म्स फॉर सो वी हैव माइनस फोर्टीन एक्स एंड प्लस सिक्स एक्स सो सब्ट्रैक्टिंग सिक्स माइनस फोर्टीन विल बी माइनस एट एक्स एंड माइनस टू वाई एंड प्लस टेन वाई अगेन वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट विद अ पॉजिटिव साइन सो दिस विल बी प्लस एट वाई एंड वी हैव फिफ्टी माइनस थर्टी फोर सो फिफ्टी माइनस थर्टी फोर इज इक्वल टू वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट विद अ पॉजिटिव साइन सो फिफ्टी माइनस थर्टी फोर इज सिक्सटीन सो वी गेट प्लस सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ लेट इज टेक एट कॉमन फ्रॉम ऑल दीज टर्म्स सो इफ यू टेक एट आउट साइड कॉमन वॉट विल बी लेफ्ट बिहाइंड माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन इज एट इंटू टू सो टू इज लेफ्ट बिहाइंड इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट इज सेंड दिस एट टू राइट हैंड साइड वी गेट माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय एट सो एनीथिंग डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो इज अगेन इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो लेट इज सेंड दिस एक्स टू राइट हैंड साइड सो वी गेट वाई प्लस टू is equal to x so this is what the equation we have got or the relationship between the x and y term so x and y can be equal when we add plus 2 to the y term so write down therefore x is equal to y plus 2 this is the relationship between x and y variable so here you can observe that we cannot solve this equation we can only find out the relationship between the variable x and y so therefore x is equal to y plus 2 is the required relation so this is how we solve this example number 4 if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving example 5 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and sort man and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen thank you